Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, I'm going to be checking out uh, what monkey got me for Father's Day. Uh, you probably hear some banging and stuff, but they're still working on the roof. They're almost done. But anyway, and besides it's just way too cold out, or too cold outside. It's too cold outside, but it's too hot outside for me to work. Uh, on anything out there so uh, I'm going to put this together in here and um, when I'm done with that I got to do that one yeah monkey one and one two all right so you know, hopefully everything's all right but you know how FedEx is then they have one girl what do you think she was maybe five foot five oh yeah she was tiny about 120 yeah 115 she's trying to pick this thing up all by, by herself. herself they they didn't have any help with her and there's two of them they weigh 62 pounds each and don't they have to load their car trucks up by themselves i don't know probably but, that's yeah. terrible that's that's terrible yeah just a tiny thing really yeah so all right let me get you on the stand and we'll open this up Okay guys, let's open this up. And they want you to keep this box for 30 days. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I ain't got room for the cigarette box. So as you can see, I forgot to tell you, but it's the muck pet. Suburban. So I finally got me another Suburban, guys. My longtime followers will know what I'm talking about. But, uh, 750 watt, I think. Fat tire. All right. <laughs> the charger has some instructions there and we got some pedals the manual some tools we got bike rack and some foam that's for monkey to catch. There you go. For catch. <laughs> There's the tail light. Hi, it's got a brake light too. Yeah. Yes. I need one. So. Okay, again, sorry for the lighting. We'll uh, go ahead and get this stuff out. I'll take a look at the instructions, but it's a bicycle with pretty self explanatory. Right, this. That is 
one big tire. <laughs> well packaged. This is the battery, I think. hardware stuff in here. We'll get to this stuff in a minute. Yeah, them boys have been doing good on that roof today. They'll have it done here in a little while. And they didn't start on it until they had to go finish another job they didn't have drip edge for yesterday, so they had to finish it this morning. And, uh, So they didn't start on it till, I don't know, 10.30 maybe, something like that. But, you know, when a guy knows what he's doing, you know, and them guys know what they're doing, they, uh, they can really go to town on it. There's the seat, or what some guys call a saddle. A bit of scuff there, but not a deal breaker. Alright, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Pull the rest of the stuff off the front and we'll start assembling. Alright, so the first thing we're got to do is put the handlebars on and you just take all take out these four screws they give you the tools some allen wrenches in there a regular wrench or a, well an open end wrench for probably the pedals because they need to be a thin wrench
All right, now I'm gonna put those four screws in. And then we'll be back with step two. Okay, so now we're gonna put the front wheel on. I already took the, the nuts and the holders off of it. They're washer with the little hook I'll show you here in a minute. But they're four. Take that out. Make sure you line your caliper up to go. I don't know what you're seeing. Make sure you line your caliper up to go over your rotor. This little hook piece You're upside down. <laughs> Hang on. So it's got a little hook on it. There's a little hole there. Make sure that hook goes in there. Start your nuts on both sides before you tighten it down. Good. Now I'll show you here in just a second. Let me get these tightened up with a supply wrench, which is a 15. Now we'll go over these everything on here when it's done. Make sure everything is tight, as you should do with any new bicycle. In fact, I think this is. This is my first brand new bicycle ever. Okay, so let me show you. Right there. Make sure that little hook goes into that hole. There you go. See it? The hook goes into that hole. May need to adjust the brakes and stuff like that. That's later. Uh, so yeah, we're getting there. Now I think the next is the next thing's probably the seat. Yeah, we've got that on. No, the next will be the fender and headlight. Place the fender and headlight in the right position, then tighten the screw. Tighten the screws on both sides of the fender. Okay, I'll show you where those go. There's one here, and one on the other side, and one up here. So let me get you in the stand. Okay, so I'm gonna take this screw out. It does have a nut on it, but the wrench doesn't fit that nut. So I have to use my own wrench. But two screws in we'll get them started that same way with the other side Put these finger tight for right now.
then I'll adjust this where I want it to be. And I'll go ahead and get those tight now. Just those two and this one up here. Now for the rear rack, you've got a bolt here, there, there, and one on this side here. I'm just going to take them off. And we're going to put our rack on. Well, that shouldn't be that tight, should it? But anyway, these bikes have um, four and a half star reviews out of a lot of reviews, so Monkey said you want to get one of them? I'm like, yeah, and we looked it up and we YouTubed them and they were, you know, they were uh, getting some good reviews and got to look and might as well get two <laughs> because I think about buying another battery, but the battery is almost $400. This bike is like $699 right now. So I was like, I might as well just get another bike for that kind of money. So, alright, now, I don't know where Monkey put the, there's the rack. Really, all I'm seeing so far is one wire to plug in, that's for the tail light. Um, you can also get a basket for these. You can get saddlebags for these. So they do have um, accessories. Uh-huh. Okay. Well. I'm sure don't go in there. It's got to go like this. Okay. Well. Looks like the rack might be bent and shipping, of course. Can't really blame that on the company. supposed to be here yesterday. Alright, I'm going to get these screws on here. I may have to tweak this a little bit up here. If I do, I'll show you what I did. Okay, I just put them in. They went in alright. Um, yeah, the fender's a little scuffed there. but So, they do give you zip ties to run your cable down through this is for your brake light again so let's go ahead and see which way I want to run it probably about like that and this only plugs in one way you can't mix it up there's a little slot in this side and like a <laughs> oh you know Anyway, there's only one way it can go. And it also has an arrow on it. Line the two arrows up. Plug it in. And then, you know, run your zip ties however you want to run your zip ties. And then uh, that's pretty much it for that part. I think, let's see, I'm not sure if we do the pedals now or the seat, but I'll check. All right, so now we're going to do the seat. It's got some numbers here. This bike will fit five foot six up to six foot four people. So we'll put this in here. We'll set it down like that for right now. And this, right there, you can tighten that a little bit, straighten your seat out, and then you flip this forward. If you don't want to go, loosen that nut just a little bit. 
a little bit more that way you can raise and lower the seat how you need it to be and there's the seat on there that's all the way down because I'll have monkey sit on it she's afraid it's gonna be too tall for her. I don't think so of course I'll check the air pressure and all that okay now the pedals there is a left and right on these pedals if you didn't know And it's because one's right-handed thread, one's left-handed thread. That's so they don't come loose. And on the bottom here, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's an L. And the other one's a right. And down here, corresponding, that's left. So... I'm going to do this with my left hand because I don't want to get in your guys' light. Uh, got a left-handed thread. Come on. I was going right the way the first time. It'll say Titan and has an arrow. Yeah, it's yeah, pedal. No, I was going. Yeah, I was. I was going right the first time. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll use our little wrench we got over there that they sent us. <laughs> And tighten the pedal. Now I'm going to do this side too. Alright, now we're going to put the battery in. charge it with it on the bike or off the bike and then you push the stop button it's got a little gauge and it's reading almost full so and they give you two keys there okay bike is done I gotta check air pressure and all that stuff and I'm gonna read up about the monitor how you turn it on and all that I don't know if I mentioned there's a uh, seven speed Shimano all right this is a twist throttle here half grip twist throttle and here's some controls for your uh, like for your pedal assist and all that so all right now I think to turn the headlight on you hold that power button but you probably gotta turn this on there we go oh nice display now you hold the okay there's the headlight it's on tail lights on let's see if we've got brake light oh yeah Cool. All right, I'm going to read up on that, check the tire pressure. I'm going to go over every nut and bolt on that thing. Especially, guys, if you go to Walmart or somewhere like that and buy a bicycle, roll it out, throw it in your truck, take it home, give it to your kid. Don't let them get on it right away. Make sure you tighten every, go over every nut and bolt on it because 
the same guy that put that together is probably stocking the shelves right now you know what I mean so he's not a bicycle mechanic so yeah it looks pretty cool all right let me read up on this okay guys so it did come with two mirrors one for the other side but I don't have it on yet because this is I don't know it's not really a mirror it's just kind of like a reflective piece of plastic probably still safer than nothing but I don't know I'll, I'll see I'll see how that one looks and then we'll go from there but right now I'm going to read up on this check tire pressure and we'll go from there I didn't realize it did this it moves around cool I still got the cover on that and the cover on that so all right get some air and try it out and it also comes with a bike lock so that's nice all right so I did check the air pressure they are low they take 20 pounds so I'm gonna take it outside and get it aired up I think I'll put that other mirror on here and um, we'll give it a shot this is not going to be a full review because I want to make sure I can tell you everything like about all what this does set your perimeters and all that stuff um, but I like that Shimano shifter um, but so let me get some air in the tires I checked everything everything seems to be tight um, so yeah get it outside and get some air in it okay Shea Bear let's see you ride your new bike all right, ready? Yep, ready. Ta -da. <laughs> you want me to hurt your butt? There he goes. We got e-bikes. Each one e-bike. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive, ride it myself or not. I'll have to see how well I do. Do it again. Let's see you. I'm yeah. We'll do it the other way. So he got an e-bike because his heart, you know, and he wants to get some exercise. So right. he can use it, you know. There you go. With assist or without. Pretty cool. And he wanted to see, um, you know, we got... We got two bikes because they were $699 and they were on sale. So I was like, let's get the two bikes and we can go. We have bike trails here, as you see me on the walk trails before. We can go down there on the bike trails. And if we decide we want to take them with us, we can shove them in the boat maybe and go camping and we can ride our bikes. We got the big wheels because of the sand in Florida. You do any trails or anything like that, you gotta have sand. Uh huh. Nice. You feel comfortable on it? Yeah. Except for the seat. For the he doesn't like the seat. But I think as you get older it takes it's harder on your bottom. Well you might need to be able to fix that. Maybe they'll wear in. Yeah, they might. It's nice. It's got a kickstand on it and everything. He's just going around too fast for me. And, uh, yeah. There you go. Did it say how fast you were going? 35. 35? Yeah, but I didn't line up. Oh, did you? You souped it? Well, they come at 100%. Yeah. You set it up to 150. Oh, okay. 150. So, of course, I got mine. 150. Right. Pretty cool. Yeah, Very like nice it. bike. Hey! Look at that. Driving a go kart. So, this is what it looks like. This here is your battery right here. And what do they call these things? Muck Pet. Muck Pet. Yeah, it's the Suburban. It's called the Suburban. Yeah. Yeah. Shea Bear likes that. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. And it gives you two mirrors, which is not the greatest, he said. Well, but they do move. Yeah. And I still got the, it's not really glass, I don't think. Right, so you can see. I still got the them difference. on. I still got the cover on that. And this is the, the, me, the thing. What do they call that thing? The clock or whatever. Clock. <laughs> It well, tells you how fast. Yeah, that's why. There's I mean. your odometer and then yeah. other things there. There's your trip and all that stuff. Uh, There's your voltage. Uh huh. Current, like if I, I was writing it. Uh huh. <clears throat> and that's how long we turned this on four minutes ago. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah, that's what that timer is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's very good. And then you have your light in the front, and then you have your brake light back here, yeah. which is nice to have. Very, very nice. Very nice bike. Thank you, Muggy. You're welcome. Did you tell them it's my first brand new bike ever? No. I don't know if they can hear me. Oh. It's my first, my first brand new bike ever. Your first brand new bike ever. Yeah, and you got it for me. Aww. We do a lot of first things together. It, well, it's my first e-bike. So, well, my first brand new bike mm -hmm. you bought for me was an e-bike. Yeah. Cool. Well, he's been wanting one for a long time. Yeah. Because he, he wanted to get some exercise and go places. And I love to be on the trail here. So, this is the what you want. Well, see, I can pedal that. Like I said, I can pedal all the way up this hill. Mm-hmm. And not be breathing as hard as if I walked out back to the shed and back. Because yeah. Because it's got pedal assist. Right. So it helps So you're still you. getting exercise. Yeah. So. Just not overdoing it. Right. Right. Yeah. And if he gets real tired, you just stop and let it take over. Right. Well, you just. Yeah. Twist the throttle. It's right here. Oh, you just twist it? Yeah. This right here, you just twist it. Oh, okay. Stop pedaling and twist it. Oh, okay. And cool. And it will take off on its own. Ah. Very nice. Yeah. So. I have mine. He has to put mine together yet, but I, I think I want to ride this first. This is really for a five, six and up. I'm five, four, but I sat on it and my, and I'll put some running shoes on instead of flip flops. That'll give me a little bit of more of a lift. I think you'll be all right. I think Once I'll be too. To yeah. Yeah. We'll ride somewhere and then you can go out in the parking lot and ride around and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need to get used to it first, and I need to know what I'm doing first before I jump on it. That's as low as that seat will go. Mm-hmm. But I think you'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, I think the price was pretty good for, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, this is not a hot rod. This is not one of the real expensive ones. We didn't want that. This is what we just want to do a few bikes, things, yeah. and stuff like that. So it's just for and fun. And it will go off road. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will go for, off road. I mean, for six ninety nine. Mm hmm. What the heck? Right. Right. And it's got four and a half stars out of what eighteen hundred reviews or something. Oh yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And you can get a basket. Yeah, they you sell can. Sell baskets. Mm -hmm. They also sell saddlebags. Yeah. For it. And they also sell a little bag that you can put in here to put little things in, too. Oh, that's cool. And I think you can get, I think you can get a rack up front, and you can get a basket up front, too. Mm -hmm. So they do sell accessories. They gave us these. Uh-huh. They're all right. I mean, it's safer than not having anything. Right. Right. That's right. Yep. So, there you go, and guys. And it comes with a bike lock. Oh, yeah. It comes yeah. with a bike lock. And I didn't know that, either. That's yeah. pretty nice. And it's a heavy-duty one. Yeah. It's a, a not one of those cheap things, so it is a heavy duty one. So we've been busy and we're doing stuff. Been doing a lot, haven't we? Yeah. But now we'll be able to go riding and boating, and we'll be able to have a little fun. Okay, I like, guys. I like being able to like if you have to take your mom to the doctor or something. Uh huh. I can just put my camera on and go for a ride while you're gone. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can run down to the store or whatever you want. That's cute. Anyways, guys, okay, I'm going to let you guys go. And, uh, Thanks, monkey. You're welcome. 
Say bye. Bye, you guys. You're there. Yeah, yeah you're here. there. Okay. I will say I'm out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Thank you, buggy. Thank you.